Okay, in this video, we're going to be using the sum to product formula to find the exact value of these two expressions. Now, I could do this by hand if I wanted to and find the cosine of 185. I could find the cosine of 105 separately. I could just add those values together, but we have a product, a sum to product formula, which is going to make our job just a little bit easier, and that's what we're looking for, right? Tricks to make this thing more efficient and easier to solve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look here. And I see my product is somewhere at the top, so I need to scoot up a little bit. I need to use a sum to product. I'm adding two cosines together, which means I'm going to use, then, this third formula on the sheet that we have, right? Cosine u plus cosine v. I can also tell, my job is usually to find out what u and v are. And in this case, it looks like u is going to be 195 degrees. And v is going to be 105 degrees. So I'm going to keep that in mind. That means that I can rewrite this then as 2 times the cosine of u plus v all over 2, which is 195 plus 105. And then I can say times the cosine of u minus v, which is 195 minus 105 all over 2. And this is all coming from, if you're not for sure, this is all coming from the third formula on our notes, right? This one right here. Okay, I just plug in in u and v. So that being said then, I need to simplify what's inside the expression first. Let's see, 195 plus 105, that'd be 300 degrees. 300 divided by 2 is 150. So it's really the same thing as 2 times the cosine of 150 degrees times the cosine of 195 minus 105 is 90. 90 over 2 is 45. All right, well, this is great because now those are familiar angles. The cosine of 45, I already know, is going to be the square root of 2 over 2. 1 over the square root of 2, whatever it is, however you want to put it. The cosine of 150, well, for me, even doing this all this time, I still it takes me a little bit of work. I have to draw this triangle. This is 180, so that means i got a 30-degree triangle on the inside. 1, square root of 3, 2. This is negative because we're going to the left. Cosine is negative in the second quadrant, however you want to think about that. The cosine of this angle is negative square root of 3 over 2, negative 0.866. So now, that means that the exact value of that expression can be written as this, which now just means I need to simplify 2 over 2, so that's easy. That go, those go away. I'm left with negative. The square root of 3 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 6, and that's over 2. So there's the exact expression. Things I need to be careful about. Pluses and minus, all student takes classes. And really, it's just, can we do the math correctly? I mean, that should be a simple problem, but you'd be surprised at how many mistakes are made. Let's do the same thing over here. Sine of 195 plus sine of 105. And so it turns out I'm going to use, you can see at the top point, it's the one right here at the very bottom of the screen right now. So U is going to be 195, and V is going to be 105. And that means I need to do this then. I have 2 times the sine of 195 plus 105 all over 2 times the cosine of u minus v all over 2. Whoops, I wrote u and v. I meant 195 and 105 all over 2. So ignore that. There we go. It's 195 and 105. All right, so now we just need to simplify this. Once again, this ends up being 300. 300 divided by 2 is 150. 2 times the sine of 150 degrees times the cosine of 45. Same idea. Simplify the stuff inside the parentheses. Um, I already know that this is going to be 2 times something times something. The cosine of 45, we already know, is the square root of 2 from the last example, over 2. I already know that one. Come back here to my triangle over here. The sine of 150 is positive, all students, sine is positive, positive 1 half, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. So it turns out then, 2 times 1 half, well, those go away completely. It is the square root of 2 over 2. And that's how we find the exact value using a sum to product formula.